Hello and welcome to week six for October 18th, 2020. This week's essential question for our praise group, who's meeting virtually, and our glory group, who's meeting at home, is how does God share his life with us? In order to answer that question, I thought we might first begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, here we are with open hearts to learn about you. Teach us to be your followers. Here we are, Lord. In your name we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. This is a nice short prayer which opens our kindergarten book. This week, in our lesson, we hear that Christ is at the heart of all we learn and all we celebrate, and that the way to grow closer to Christ and the way to share in God's life with us is to attend the liturgy. Now, of course, there are many ways that God shares his life with us, but the main focus for this week is in regards to the liturgy. Last week, we talked about the church, and we learned that we are the church, that Jesus is the head, and that the church is the body, but that we make up that body, all of us, and that the church is not just a building, but that it is its people, and that it's essential for us as Catholics to grow together, to serve one another, and to do so and grow closer to God by attending the liturgy. Why is attending the liturgy so important? Well, it's, as we said, one major way in which God shares his life with us. In the liturgy, we find the Blessed Trinity present. We find that we pray to God the Father. We hear about Jesus in the scriptures, and we receive Jesus in the liturgy of the Eucharist. And we draw on the Holy Spirit in prayer and in setting up our atmosphere in song to help us grow closer in our relationship to God. So there, in both the Liturgy of the Word, which is essentially the first half of our Mass, and the Liturgy of the Eucharist, the second half, after the homily, those are the places where we experience the Holy Spirit and share in God's life for us. Additionally, our lesson this week focuses on the concept of sacramentals. A sacramental is something which helps us in our prayer life. It's an object that helps us focus on God and helps us with our our relationship and growing closer. A sacramental could be A set of rosary beads, something that we hold while we pray. A sacramental could be a crucifix. We have a big, beautiful crucifix in our church, one that we can look at and which helps us meditate on the suffering, but also on the great resurrection and the joy of the resurrection. These are instruments which focus our life, our energy, and all of our thoughts on growing closer to God. So this week, my challenge to you is to look around the house. See if you can find a sacramental. See if you can find something special. You might even look to go back to our springtime videos at our Toolkit for Faith and focus on some of the sacramentals that we presented there. Maybe it's a good time to go back and view those videos, if you've not done so, and set up your own space for prayer. Once you have your sacramentals, whether they be a family uh, heirloom or something you just received for perhaps First Communion, once you have them in place, take them out and bring them to church, to the building, to celebrate, to use in the liturgy. If you're still not in a position where you're attending Mass in person, and that's okay, then take part in our live stream, which occurs each week at 12 o'clock, and use those sacramentals in your prayer during Mass. 
Finally, I'd encourage our 7th, 8th, and ninth grade students to take a look in the back of their confirmation books. Perhaps this is a good week to take a look at the Beatitudes and the works of mercy and consider how those can play into your prayer lives. I know for sure that as the holidays come, we need to remind ourselves that giving is important, serving others is essential, and that these are a huge part of Jesus' message to us. Oh, and one more thought. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up, but we're here under construction. We're looking to put together a nice big billboard here, which highlights all of you. We'd also like to make these lessons a little shorter and make these videos more about what you are doing in this community. So if you have ideas, if you have pictures, short videos, any kind of segments you'd like to see, please share them with me and you can send them to my email, dre at st-pius-x.org or share them with Ante in youth ministry at st-pius-x.org. That's youth-ministry at st-pius-x.org. Until then, God bless.